So with these two pigments, hopefully, we should be able to understand the nature of the different pigments we have. We separated dyes from pigments, right? We took like all the coloring matter there is. We divided between dyes and pigments. Now we're only dealing with pigments. But I'm going to further divide this for the sake of understanding into two categories. That's a member of one category, cobalt turquoise. And that's a member of the other category, which is the lucid and crimson. Or intrachromal red or magenta. <coughs> and what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to pass them around for you to see how different they are and just get a feel. Because we're going to be talking about that. What makes them different and why do I choose to separate them so? Because the charges, electro, the electrostatic charges between them are stronger. So most blues will pump up more than reds. It's not about the color. Forget about grouping them by color. I'm happy you said that. People say, oh, reds are expensive, yellows are cheap, and blues are in the middle. It doesn't work that way. Um, some pigments clog up more than other, and if you notice, in this case, it's the cobalt turquoise that clogs up, right? The clogging up is, um, is based on, um, do you guys, are, are you guys remembering or able to remember in your chemistry slash physics class uh, electrostatic, um, electronegativity between the different? So if I have a big, uh, atom, you know, I get a, a bigger charge than if I get a smaller one in everything. Well, when you, when you have a molecule that, that has a high electrostatic charge next to one that has a high electrostatic charge, they tend to flip and invert themselves to make it like a crystal. For example, let me, let me put it this way. This is, you know my sodium chloride, my salt that I was talking that we eat every day? It's a crystal, right? On one end, it's chloride. I think a chloride is um, 17 atoms. A 17, I'm sorry, 17 proton in the atom. It's a big nucleus, 17, right? And sodium is uh, 11. It's a little smaller, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So the electrons tend to be more here than here, right? Because a molecule is made of these two nuclei bound together. Right? And they share electrons. That's what we call the chemical bond. That's how they can come together. They share some of their electrons. But because this one is bigger, it has more protons, you know, the, the plus charges in the nuclei, it's a little bigger. So most of the time, the, the electrons will be more onto this side, which is creating a positive charge on this side most of the time, and the negative charge on this side. So when two of them are together, this is one, and the next one is here, they will kind of invert so that is plus and is minus, that's one, and the other, the other will invert so the plus and minus kind of orient, and that's how you make a crystal. 